from right outside of our offices here in Pleasantville. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Hope you had a wonderful Monday here. I know some of you also had a wet Monday. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar from this afternoon. We did see a couple of thunderstorms from about Upper Deerfield all the way to Ocean City. But outside of there, we saw nothing. LBI saw nothing. Atlantic City saw nothing. Even Cape May saw nothing. So that was a win for the traditional definition of the Cape May bubble. You know what that is. Lower Cape May County. That's the real bubble there. And it was dry for those areas. Now, as we go into tonight, we are going to see areas of fog develop again here. It's going to be after midnight. It will be dense at times. You're not going to want to drive around without at least giving yourself a couple of extra minutes here. We'll also see some drizzle and even a spotty shower during this time as well. It'll break up by about 8 or 9 a.m. on our Tuesday. We will see temperatures here as we go into the overnight hours slide down through the 80s into the 70s overnight lows will be around 70 degrees for the mainland over at the shore we will be in the mid 70s now as we go forward into the rest of the week here we're talking about the heat and the humidity building now it will be that transition day on tuesday but when we go into wednesday and thursday and even friday we're looking for our fourth heat wave of 2021 at Atlantic City International Airport with high temperatures above 90 degrees. And look at these dew points, a measure of moisture in the air. If you thought it was humid on Monday, well, it's only going to get more humid as we go into Tuesday and especially for Wednesday and Thursday with dew points in the oppressive mid 70s. We have not had two days in a row with dew points in the mid 70s steadily this summer. So this is going to be our most humid stretch of the year here. As we go into our Tuesday morning, temperatures only rising through the 70s. That's because of the fog and the cloud cover, as well as even a couple of showers or some fog around. Now, as we go into Tuesday during the day, we're talking about temperatures that will get just to the upper 80s on the mainland. Over at the shore, will be in the low 80s. So, one to two degrees cool, excuse me, warmer than our Monday. And we also will be a little bit more humid as well. Looking at our Bowdoin Beach report for your Tuesday, but well, we have surf heights two to three feet. We're talking about a southerly swell with a quick wave period, only around four seconds for that primary swell. We're looking for water temperatures to be above average here. It was in the mid 70s, pretty much everywhere along the shore. Probably just a degree cooler for our Tuesday. As we go into Tuesday night, we're looking for a shower or a thunderstorm from 7 p.m. to midnight. It's going to be fairly isolated, so I don't expect everywhere to be wet. I would bank on a dry evening for most of you here. Temperatures only sliding down through the 80s and then into the 70s. And then we only bottom out in the low to mid 70s here. So, again, a little bit warmer than the past couple of nights. Going into Wednesday, it's going to be a typical hazy, hot, and humid Jersey summer day here. We're going to be dry during the morning and during the midday. Isolated showers during the afternoon, which will help to break this high heat. High temperatures in the low 90s on the mainland with the heat index 100 to 105 with those dew points in the mid 70s. Over at the shore will be in the mid 80s there. Dew points will also bring the heat index into the mid 90s for you. And again, we're seeing those afternoon kind of showers and storms. Taking a look at the rest of your seven day forecast. We pretty much do the same thing over again on Thursday compared to Wednesday. The only difference is we don't see any rain during the day, but there will be a cold front that passes sometime Thursday night into Friday, and it will bring some showers and thunderstorms. Not going to be a big deal for us, I don't think. I think it will be fairly limited, isolated to scattered, no washouts. Right now, I'm favoring that Thursday night to Friday morning time period for a few showers and storms. And then as we enter our weekend, we're looking to be pretty good. That is just what it looks like right now. And eventually, that heat breaks for the weekend. One more thing, too. The International Panel on Climate Change released the first part of their sixth edition to what is happening with climate change in the globe. And the IPCC report has said that we are dangerously close to getting to that 1.5 degree increase threshold when it comes to Celsius over the past 100 to 125 years or so. Looks like we could actually break that threshold in the next 10 years, assuming our emission scenario is the same. And once you get past 1.5 degrees Celsius with that increase, you start to see an accelerated rate of climate change in the United States and across the globe. For Lays and South Jersey weather, you know where to find me on social media, or you can always come to our website at thepressofac.com slash web. Enjoy the night, everybody.